everybody! Today, let's make some spicy noodle soup. Spicy seafood and meat mixed noodle soup in Korean, champong. I made a champong video years ago and a lot of people requested to remake this video with HD. So here you go. First, we are going to make really delicious stock. I usually use anchovy stock, anchovies and dried kelp and they make a kind of a nice stock. Uh, but if this kelp and dried anchovies are not available, use chicken stock. I'm boiling 12 cups of water, now really boiling, and then I will add dried anchovies. Anchovies, I already removed the heads and intestines, so clean. You gotta use a really large size. But this one is kind of medium size. Small, tiny anchovies are not tasty uh, because it doesn't have a lot of you know, some savory taste inside. Uh, but this one, one ounce, just after all removing heads and intestine. And this is dried kelp. So this is one ounce. And add this and cover. I'm boiling 20 minutes over medium high heat. And then later, just I will lower the heat and then another 20 minutes. This is kind of a good tip for you guys. This is a Korean large green onion. It's called Deppa. Just I think they only Koreans and Japanese are using. I never seen this like any grocery store. Usually, oh, this is boiling over. So I'm going to turn down the heat. I bought this one bunch in my planter. I just plant this. Sometimes I give some water. And now look at this, really beautifully growing. Just a couple of days ago, I just used this hole. I cut off and then I used it for my some cooking. And then now already growing like this. So fun. One large green onion cut off. You see? Does my planter's roll is done. So this guy is not featured anymore. <laughs> Take off this. I will wash it quickly. So here you go. All these vegetables I will show you. This is one large green onion. This is a leek. You know, everybody knows a leek. Leek is a, like a thick, cut in half, you know, lengthwise. Cold running water, just you gotta wash this all this inside. So I'm going to use this amount. About two ounces. So I just cut this. And green onion. This is bok choy, around four ounces. Just bok choy is very delicious. Just a small size bok choy. I'll just add this here, some green. And there's a cabbage, large cabbage leaves. I'm using three, so around three ounces. Take off just this hard part. Cut this. Bite size pieces. This is the onion, so I'm using this around four ounce. And this is about four ounce. All green vegetables, green vegetables and carrot all together, one pound. And just a carrot for color. Let's do. Our vegetables are all prepared. Next, seafood. These are my seafood. This is a mussels, shrimp, and squid, and small clams, mussels and clams. I already washed and soaked in a little salty water a couple of hours and then just all washed and very clean. So I can use it directly. But uh, squid and shrimp, I didn't clean. So I just, oh, 20 minutes already passed 
and then I'm going to lower the heat. I'll just uh, switch to other burner. Low heat. Just between medium and low, I just uh, cook and 20 minutes, another 20 minutes. Total uh, 40 minutes I'm boiling to make a nice anchovy stock. Okay, let's go back to seafood. Squid first. Just, I'm not going to use a whole. I will use this only, the body part. Cut off. And just, uh, you can, like around here, you see this kind of, you know, the plastic. This is a bone. Like a squid bone, so plastic like this, and just take off around here some connected part, pull it out like this. All pull it out, and all this intestine come out. See? So now clean. I like to remove this skin, the skin to remove easily, and this is salt so that I can grab this skin easily, see? Squid, I like to transfer this here. We need to wash this. And this shrimp, I didn't clean this. Shell the shrimp like this. When I was young, maybe like at the time, you know, elementary school or junior high school, I kind of practiced, I practiced how to shell quickly, you know, because uh, fun. This is like a large size, really large size, so kind of not easy. Uh, but I used to, I still remember how, what I did. Okay, I can do shrimp. I shell shrimp so easily. So one, two, three. One, two, three, like this. So I used to do this. And uh, this guy has an intestine on the back. Cut this like this. You see? Actually, it's so clean. So clean. And all these guys passed my test. So clean. How did I see? Yeah. Sometimes really dirty. Nice. So, I like to cut this seafood. Squid. I'll make rings. How much seafood you use, it depends on your taste. But this one is actually a really good amount for two servings. These mussels, I chose small mussels. These days, mussels are not big. If mussels are big, and each person has maybe two is enough. But this one, I chose eight mussels. And then large size shrimp, two per one person. Think, and also this is a four ounce squid. So I slice this, and this is around one cup small clams. So these are noodles I'm using. When I make black bean sauce noodles, jajangmyeon, I use these noodles. For jjampong, I have to use the same noodles. I will use these noodles. These noodles are thick, and this is also very chewy. This is a four ounce beef, but really thinly shaved one. When I make shabu shabu, I use this. Okay, did you hear the alarm? I'm going to turn off. So my stock is done. You can use beef or pork, just whatever you use, slice thinly. Or you can use also chicken. My stock looks like this. Smells good. Yeah, we didn't add any salt here. Mmm, good. I'll strain this. You see, color, nice color. Two tablespoons, 
hot pepper flakes. Let's make really spicy. And this is sesame oil, around one teaspoon. And mix. We need to make uh, some spicy stuff. So really smells good, nutty, and sesame oil, hot pepper flakes. I'm going to add later. What is missing? This is, this is, what is inside? You guys know that. Garlic and ginger. So this is around like one tablespoon. So let's heat it up, this pan. I will just cook here all everything. And add meat. When the meat is half cooked, you will still have a lot of oil here. And I will add hot pepper flakes, three tablespoons. One, two, three tablespoons. Just stir. And then mix it quickly. Let's add all vegetables except for bok choy. You gotta cook it in over high heat. Until red and shiny, we just stir fry. Nice, nice. Cooking is fun. <laughs> yeah, so now just uh, my vegetables are really calm down, really smaller than uh, before. Let's add the stock. I will use six cups. Wow, smells really good, nice. And then add all seafood. and bok choy. So I'm going to cover this so they cook quickly. And then now I'm going to boil, reheat my water to boil my noodles. My house is uh, full of delicious aroma. Okay, my water is boiling and then I will add my noodles. So just uh, stir this a few times so they is not going to stick to each other. Cover. So around two, three minutes later, it's really boiling like this. And stir this, these noodles. And this is soup is now really, really bubbling. Around seven minutes, I boiled this. Wow. Nice. Yay, boiling over. I gotta do multitask. I didn't add any salt or anything. So I will use fish sauce and salt. One tablespoon fish sauce. One teaspoon salt. Noodles it takes time. It takes time. I can see it. This is a look like a kind of a opaque white. That means it doesn't cook yet. So I will just keep cooking. So this mixture of hot pepper flakes, oh my, it looks awesome. I will lower the heat. So my noodles are done. I'm going to strain this my noodles. So make it chewy. I rinse in cold water. So I will just take some one servings. Okay, this. Now, really hot soup, and turn up the heat. Make it more hot, you can do this. Like this. And scald broth is going. And the meanwhile, it's boiling really hot broth. And then now, we add this, all this delicious stuff.
I'm wondering if I can eat all. Oh, this is really a lot of amount. But usually, you know, jampong place, they serve really large bowl. Jampong bowl is, should be really big, large. I'm going to prepare just the tammuji, Korean tammuji, for this. Let's eat. Mm. I will add some bok choy and shrimp. Shrimp is so big. Mm. Mm. Enjoy this spiciness. Enjoy this like a delicious savory taste. Make your body and soul warm. Especially the hot pepper flakes, I stir fry with oil. It creates a really smoky flavor. Today, we made jampong, spicy seafood, meat, mixed noodle soup. A long English name. Korean name is better, jampong. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.